everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Draw channel and in today's video I'll share how I take paperless notes on PowerPoint slides for my distance education classes. So I recently went back to graduate school to get a master's degree in social work and my program is hybrid, meaning that it's mostly online with a more minor in-person component. So this is a part-time program, so I'm enrolled in two classes this semester. Um, both of my professors provide PowerPoint slides that accompany our independent reading. So I find it useful to use the PowerPoint slides as a reference while I'm reading the material, rather than reviewing them afterwards, um, in order to structure my learning in the same way that the professor has organized her notes. In fact, what I really prefer is to write directly on the PowerPoint slides as I'm reading. So this isn't always possible in every class if you're in a lecture and the professor doesn't make the slides available in advance, but for my distance education program, they almost always do. So in order to take paperless notes right on the professor's slides, I use an iPad, the Notability app, and an Apple Pencil. In order to get the slides into the format that I want onto my iPad, I use my PC, some software called PDF Creator, and Google Drive. In terms of format, I much prefer to have six slides on one sheet of paper rather than one slide per page, which I find a little cumbersome. So here is the entire process that I use. On my PC, I open the PowerPoint file, I choose File, and then I choose Print. So at this point, I change my printer to any software that prints to PDF. I personally use PDF Creator and I will put a link to, the, uh, to a download to it in the comments section. So once that in is installed, it will show up as one of the printer options. Okay, so I choose that. And then I change the default. Um, for it, the default is full page slides and I change that to six si slides horizontal. You can obviously choose whatever format that you prefer here. And I hit print. So it takes a little while to process, and the more graphics they have, the longer it will take. But eventually, um, a Save As dialog box will come up. So you make sure the title is what you want, and then you choose a place to save the PDF. So I always choose, choose to save mine to the Google Drive folder. So I have Google Drive for PC installed on my computer, which syncs files from Google Drive down to my local computer. So this software created a folder on my computer called Google Drive that I can use to save or open files just like any other folder on my computer. And the great thing is that I, anything that I put in there syncs to my cloud Google Drive account and anything saved to my Google Drive cloud account automatically gets synced down to my computer. I love it and it's not particularly glitchy. Okay, so I have a Google Drive folder called Grad School and I just save my PowerPoint PDF to that folder. All right, so now I'm gonna open the Notability app on the iPad. I have a subject in Notability called Grad School and I have two folders beneath it, one for each of my classes. I navigate to the appropriate class and I choose to import a file rather than create a new one. So this allows me to import from a variety of sources. In this case, I'm gonna choose Google Drive. So I go to my Grad School folder, I find the PDF and I choose to import it. Voila, now it is all ready for my notes. So just a couple of quick notes on note taking. I use an Apple Pencil, which I have some mixed feelings about, mostly due to the fact that it needs to be charged all of the time. Um, but it is really great on the iPad Pro uh, for note taking and it allows me to rest my wrist on the screen as I write um, and I, so I can write more naturally. But you totally don't need this. Any capacitive stylus will work just fine. So I believe pretty strongly in writing notes longhand rather than typing them because I personally learn better that way. There are actually quite a few studies about this, but suffice it to say that number one, typing tends to bypass the circuitry in your brain that implants concepts. And number two, typing fast usually means copying notes verbatim, which is less mentally rigorous and therefore less good for learning than having to be selective about what you write. So it is better to summarize, paraphrase, and map concepts than to regurgitate word for word. So I highlight, I write in the margins, I connect ideas, I use circles and shapes to map concepts um, and emphasize things. The more writing I do per slide, the more rich my learning tends to be. 
I'm, I'm a little picky about how slides are organized, so if the slides don't at least contain the headings and subheadings from the textbook, in other words, the basic structure that the authors intended, then I'll just write up my notes from scratch um, without using the slides at all. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.